Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to Daughter of Winterow. My name is Mara, and um, I'll be taking care of your intuitive needs today. Um, it's such a beautiful day, and the house is empty for about an hour or so, so I figured I'd come out of my little hidey hole. Hang on, I'm going to turn the tunes up here for a little bit. I like to put on theta waves while I'm, I'm reading. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of stretch out. I could hear the pups. We got squeaks going on back there. I call it squeaks and drips, because she's still like processing placenta because I know that's what you wanted to hear and um and you got the squeaks from the puppies so I call them squeaks and drips <laughs> anyways thank you for everyone um that did not show up to my live last night <laughs> and I say that in just I was so nervous I babbled on for two hours I had a great time I had a couple people pop their heads in um oh my goodness oh my goodness and this is what I get or having the puppies out but that's okay because it's a beautiful day and I hope you're enjoying it and staying out I've got my vitamin C going on my tea and vitamin C and um, yeah so let's let's get on with this Aquarius very interesting read we had for you last night um, but all right let's see what messages oh if you have any questions about uh, watching daughter of winter row right about now there will be a um, a little link that you can click on or you can go downstairs and click the link but we're just gonna get started okay I'm trying to keep these short as possible seven of fire seven of wands so and um, the seven of wands in this deck the good tarot is actually um, kind of like a starting energy where in the traditional tarot it's more of like a competitive energy but I can see where competitiveness is like you're just you're on top of the mountain you're just showing off you've gotten to the top it left your competitors behind in the in the um, at the bottom of the mountain as it's I might have to close the door. Betty Lou, oh my goodness. She's got a thing up. She's got a wild hair up her behind. She's a little basset hound. She's so funny looking. Adorable, but funny looking. All right, let me close that door. Hang on. All righty. <sighs> Intruding on my fresh airness. Whatever, I got the fresh sun, or the, the bright sunshine coming in. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm tired. I only have like three hours of sleep. I had crazy, crazy dreams last night. Um, eight of water. Wow. So overall, the seven of fire. So I, I actually feel like that's um, victorious after, um, you know, like I said, starting a new project and walking away from something. That's the past. Eight of water. Got your little treasure chest there waiting for your ships to come in. Oh, by the way, I'm using the good tarot today. Ooh, for a fiery new start. Sorry, eight of water, seven of fire. Well, we got page of fire. So I love, this is one of my favorite pages. Actually, it might be my favorite. Well, go figure, it's a rainbow. <laughs> I love all the rainbows in the cards. I was never a rainbow person, and now I'm just a rainbow person. I mean, I, well, hey, I love everybody, right? <laughs> I like lots of color. <laughs> so fiery, passionate start, creative new start, right? And then we have messenger of earth. Wow, so we've got water, fire, ooh. We have this king of water. He doesn't come out a lot. My, um, my king of air comes out a lot, but my king of water doesn't come out very often. So it's always nice to see them. It's so funny, I was just watching, I was just mainlining some more water, baby, and um, it was uh, talking about cancer, and um, it was like weathering the storm like Poseidon. Doesn't he look like very Poseidonish? Anyways, that's the synchronicities. The synchronicities. The synchronicities. Synchronicities. I think. Why do I have such trouble with that word? Anyways, are just kind of um, amplifying, I should say. So let's find out about the seven of fire. We're gonna break this down a little bit. Oh, you know what? Actually, I wanted to get an animal, um, unknown animal. Totem. So who is this reading about? Give me an energy for who this reading is about. I mean, obviously it's Aqua. Give me Aqua. I wonder if this is you, Aqua, King of Water, or if you're going towards a King of Water. So when I first started, um, you know, getting the Zodiac stuff, I always assumed that Aqua was a water sign because Aqua. Not true. <laughs> so um, give me an energy for Aqua right now. Ooh, Ooh we have Elk. So Elk speaks to me about a very honorable... Um, presence um very earth you know earth sign we've got the alchemical sim symbol here for earth um but calling um 
entering the call of duty. Um, so this might be a person that has a lot of responsibility, a lot of people depend on him, very fiery in nature. But also um, when I was watching, when I used to watch Mana, she always described this as a very musky type of, you know, um, very sexually charged um, on fire, but kind of in a lusty type of way. And the elk's just got that musky masculine scent. So I feel like this is the masculine. Let's see if we do get a feminine energy out of here. Um, not necessarily feeling that that's the king of water. I don't know, could be, but he just looks so like soft and like, look, he's like about to like cup a fish, like right there in his hand. Like he doesn't seem very like overly like, oh, ooh. <laughs> do we have any other energies that we're working with here? Again, just for added layer and fun and for me to, I don't know, I don't think I need any more um, things to talk about. I'm trying to keep the videos short, but that just might be it for you. Ooh, whoa, we have a unicorn. And froggy. Interesting. Unicorn alchemical symbol here for the ethers. So this might be an energy between the two of you, right? Something very fantastical, very something unbelievable, right? Unicorns were kind of like, you know, fantastical and unbelievable, like something, maybe something that um, is hard to believe that there's a connection maybe between an elk and a frog. Um, so actually frog here, I'm not getting the toxic frog here. You know, they say frog this, I think this might be you. Um, frog spends, you know, the beginning of its life completely in the water, the healing, the healing um, waters of water. A little redundant there, don't we think? Um, but then it finally goes out on land. And what I, I was reading the description about it last night and it's talking about how Froggy goes out on land and is, you know, hopping around, getting its stuff done, but it needs to return to the water to replenish and get nourished, right? And to wash all the toxicity off of. But Froggy tends to just work a lot and is a little small-minded and a little um, tunnel vision because it doesn't have like a broad spectrum, even though it does um, reside in land and water. So very interesting. Maybe you're working yourself too much. But yeah, we've got elk, unicorn, and frog. So again, just more fun. I just like getting my hands on more cards. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Wild Unknown um, Tarot deck here to break this down. So we're going to ask about the Seven of Fire. So what is Aqua um, feeling on top of the world about, right? What's this new start of, you know, investment, Seven of Pentacles, or Seven of Fire, Seven of Wands? Um, why am I talking about investments? Because I saw the Seven. Um, but wanting to move forward in something, right? Wanting to move forward. I'm trying to think eight of wands yeah forward movement seven leads to the eight so wanting to yeah and this is you know seven is a number of life path right so give me a couple of cards for this please clarify seven of fire our overall woo ace of pentacles now let's see if this comes upright i always flip them or i always flip them whatever wherever way it falls i flip it this way to make sure that i'm getting it the right way so we have the Ace of Pentacles, so a new start, a new tangible start, which I love. Let's see what else comes out here. Eight of Swords in reverse. Hell yeah. This is getting out of your head, right? Moving forward, not getting stuck um, with self-victimization, um, thoughts that I can't do it. This butterfly has, has a way out, right? Here doesn't see a way out. Here has released all of that. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Happy Sunday. Happy Corona Sunday. I know that's probably ill taste. I've never been known for my um my tact though. <laughs> and we have so feeling um at a decision point, right? Wanting to move forward, getting your head out of your ass, but still having um having something that's not clear, a decision that's clear. Let's um I want to find out a little more about that. What is this decision Aqua's trying to figure out? What is this decision? Ooh, a passionate new start, a passionate message, right? A son, son of wands would be a knight of wands. So wanting to move forward with a passionate new start towards, what is it? A mother of cups, the queen of cups, the madame. Ooh, we've got a true pair on the board. Queen of cups, king of water, which is the king of cups already. So wanting, making a decision in the past, 
being in your head about something, wanting to have a new tangible start, and wanting to move very passionately towards this very beautiful queen. Interesting. All right. So, eight of water. What are you walking away from? What is Aqua walking away from? Moving on from with your treasure chest and waiting for that ship to come in. Woo! Nine of Pentacles. I like that. Will that focus? Okay. Interesting. Let's see. What else are you moving away from and towards? Is that what you're moving towards? Mm. Daughter of Swords. This is the Page of Swords in reverse. So lies. Um, I say it's not necessarily lies, but uh, Page of Swords generally is very immature, a very immature energy um, that in the, the upright is, you know, um, a messenger of truth, right? You know, gives an offering of truth in reverse perhaps lies by omission. So perhaps a liar, a nine of pentacles, also nine of pentacles is a single energy. So I wonder if you're moving to white towards being single or moving towards single or moving, becoming single and walking away from lies. Let's get a couple more cards on this. Tell me about eight of cups, eight of cups, Ooh. eight of cups. Judgment, divine intervention, a divine decision being made, right? A judgment call of moving towards, moving towards, moving away from an energy, a deceitful energy. The divine is in, involved here. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups, please. Mm, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Nine of Wands. It was tough, but you push through. You're pushing through towards your nine of pentacles away from that energy, from the deceitful energy. You've got judgment on your side. You've got the divine on your side, right? Making also a call, making a decision, finally making a decision, right? And moving forward. Love it. You know, sometimes we need a little divine intervention, right? To help us get through, push through some of the things that we don't know if we've been hurt. Page of fire. Woo! I love it. I'm going to show it to you here. Let me get a couple more. Tell me more about this new start, you know, this new beginning, moving towards, I should say, page of fire. Ooh. Let's see here. Nine of cups and eights. I think that was, let's see here. Yep. So page of fire, right? Oh, so this is the energy of going forward. Right? It's a small step. Pages are, you know, a little shy. They're kids, they're children, but it is definitely a message of wanting to build and to go forward, right? Heading in a new direction with all this creativity and passion inside of you that's just like bursting inside, wanting to break through here and go forward, moving away. So we've got another nine from a nine of cups energy in the upright, right? It's wish fulfillment. So moving from a place where feeling dejected, feeling like nothing was working out, right? Possible lies, deception from another energy, but getting out of that and moving forward as a father of pentacles, as a father of pentacles, stable. This is a stable king, right? This is a king that um, takes care of people, that is dependable, reliable. Um, also, creativity, maybe not at the center, but still has that, you know, this is an entrepreneur, right? This is a very entrepreneurial energy to, um, to me. Um, not quite, you know, that, you know, yeah, and a CEO, a definite leader, right? Stag is a leader, absolutely, but a tangible, you know, this is something that's happening in the, tan the tangent, tangent world. Mm. I've been chugging it down like nobody's business. I'm just tired of water, to be perfectly honest. So I brewed some tea up and threw some vitamin C and orange and lemon juice. We've got a lemon tree out there. I've been able to juice my own. Let's see here. Okay, so we've got a messenger of earth. I love this card, right? A lot of, a lot of messengers here. Right, but messenger of earth, again, we're talking about pentacles, coins, the 3D, right? So wanting to move forward, getting an actual message. Also messenger of earth talks about 
actually hearing something, hearing but somebody's voice or getting a text message or an email, not just in the um, like intuitive, which might be a swords energy or in this um, an air energy, but a three of cups. Celebration with with others, right? This isn't a single energy like we had this um, this nine of pentacles and this nine of cups, which are, you know, happy in their own when they're in the upright and fulfilled. But this is, yeah, I want to say coalescing. I don't even know. I know what the word means, but I just don't know why I would. I think it's just weird some of the stuff that flies out of my mouth. Um, let's see here. Ah! That was right. Okay, so maybe not most conducive place for. <laughs> maybe not the most conducive place, but we have seven of cups in reverse. Choosing one in the um, upright, it can it can be confusion, right? But here it's making getting out of the. I'm sorry, pardon me. This is confusion. I apologize. I get confused when it's this way and this way. But I know when the moon is up here, it's illusion. It's confusion. Having a lot of choices, not knowing which one to pick, right? All of these six cups are upright. There's one here that's not the right cup. When it's in the upright, you know which one to pick. So this is the energy that you're coming from. Oh, interesting. So we had the Nine of Cups. We had the Eight of Cups here, right? Or excuse me, the Seven of Cups, pardon. And we have the Eight of Cups, yeah. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, getting out of confusion or being confused. I am literally confusing you now as I speak about the confusion card. <laughs> Gotta love this shit. Oh, let's see here. And what else can you tell me? What's this message that this um, messenger of Earth is bringing? So news of wanting to... Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> this is all, like, in the watery, fantastical realm, right? You, the unicorn, something that you may not have thought was real or going to happen. Because we have the Ten of Cups here. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. And now we have the Ten of Cups in the upright, I might add. So getting out of this confused state, wanting to go towards um, celebration and celebrating with other people, right? Not being in that single solo um, energy and going towards your emotional fulfillment. Freaking love it. Sorry, squeaks and uh, squeaks and drips. <laughs> okay, tell me about this King of Water. It's, the cards are already jumping. All right, we had Father of Cups in the past. He was Father of Cups in the past um in reverse right so withholding of um of emotion i just see the father of cups as um as emotionally unavailable but although still a king right can be a little kind of controlling use their their lack of emotion to perhaps control people's emotions right because the water realm is all about emotion what else can we get off this king of water my cameo Squeakers. I might go grab a puppy for you. Mmm, coming out of hermit mood. Gotta love that, though, right? Yeah. We've got nine healthy ones. Another nine. That's four nines on the board. Okay, just kidding. Um, so, yeah, coming out of hermit mode, coming out of, you know, maybe going into hermit mode to deal with those emotions, right? Because you came out here. This is the outcome. King of Water is final outcome, right? He's the sweetheart that cups Nemo. He's a Nemo cupper. <laughs> I gotta put Nemo somewhere in this title. I'm gonna have to. I have to put my um, get my titles right away, or else I forget my readings and I don't go back back and watch them because I get all weirded out about how strange I can be. Oh, happy dance, a cloud to build, right? Four of Pentacles to build a solid foundation, to move forward. Yeah, 10 of Pentacles, four of cups, King of Pentacles, you can't get any better. Judgment is here, Ace of Pentacles. Freaking beautiful read. Think, do we want, yeah, we'll get a Moonology card. We'll get a Moonology card really quickly for you and then we'll send you on your way. I can't leave you without any advice or at least something to, to walk away with, but great read, yay. And um, let's see here. What can Aqua take home with them for today? Some good old Sunday advice. <laughs> advice for Aqua. Then. 
Woo. <laughs> a win-win forecast. A win-win outcome is forecast. Love it. Win-win, baby. That J-Rock song. Or Jay-Z. Is it J-Rock? Jay-Z. J-something. Win-win-win. That's like my pump-up freaking song when I get on my bike and I'm going uphill. Love it. Anyways, a pleasure. A, a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Blessings to you, Aqua. I can't wait to see you next time. Stay healthy. Drink your vitamin C. All right. Bye. Oh, and check out my Patreon um, tiers. I'm, I'm going to be recording some... Uh, some stuff on there, um, some actual content on there like later this week or beginning of this week. I don't know. We'll see. I got to finish my Zodiac signs. All right. See ya. Bye.